Okay, so good morning class. Um, today we're going to revisit the um, discussion on compound interest and after the uh, re-lecturing of the said topic, I will give you the answers to your examinations. Okay, so compound interest. Like I said, um, previously, kato ato mga computation, computation, we were talking about simple interest. Now we jump to the concept of compound interest. So what's basically the difference between the two class? Okay. Um, as you can read in the reflected PowerPoint presentation in your screen, very few banks today pay interest based on the simple interest formula. Instead, they pay interest by using a principle called compounding. So um, this is the method that we're going to talk about here, the, the process of compounding. So the difference between simple and compound interest is this. Simple interest grows slowly. Compounding speeds up the process. Because um, you will learn later on that simple interest, man good, ang nanganak ra ang interest, ang principal amount ra. But when you say compound interest, the principal amount and the computed interest will together grow, will together earn an interest. So, while simple interest, ang mga anak of interest, ang, ang principal ra, here in uh, compound interest, ang interest nga na earn o ang principal, together mo earn sila another interest. And then katong computed interest na sad, i-add na sad to para nga to sa principal amount, and then together mo earn na sad na siya interest. So that's the difference between the compounding, compound interest, and simple interest. So basically, mas paspas ang pag-grow sa imong money kung compounding ang method na imong use. Okay? So simple interest is interest in the principal amount. That's what I have been saying a while ago. Then compound interest is when your principal, that's principal, that is not principal, your principal and any earned interest, both earn interest. So, mga anak o interest, ang principal o ang computed interest. So, um, last last time, I have shown this to you as an example, as an explanation on the things, the matters that I have been speaking of since the start of this uh, PowerPoint presentation. So, if you can see, simple interest, um, the, the problem says that you begin with 100 dollars invested at 10 percent annual interest so of course you know the formula for simple interest that's i is equals to prt so if you're going to compute for the simple interest column so that's i is equals to prt so that one year is 100 times one times 1.10 so that will give you 110 as uh, so so on and so forth so two years that's 100 times 0 0.10 times 2. So that's 20. So 120 ang um, maturity value. Now, nga sa compound interest, how did you compute for that? Um, niingon man ta na kung compound interest, the principal amount and the interest itself will earn interest, di ba? So sa year 1, pariha sila. Ang, simple in, ang principal pa may mong earn of interest in that point of time. So, pag second year, ang one na imbis na ang principal ni mo na gamiton is 100, 100 gihapon, mahimo ng 110. So, 110 times 0 0.10. So, 11 ang interest earned. So, added ang 11 sa 110. So, that's 121. So, pagka third year na sad, instead nga principal, uh, I is equals to PRP, principal is... 100 raun ta gihapon ingon man ta nga mga anak og apil ang interest so ang principal na naato gamiton is 121 already so 121 times rate of 0 0.10 that will give you 12.1 nga um 12.1 or simply round off to 12 as interest diba so 12 plus 121 that will give you 133 okay so, sa fourth year na sad, ang principal na gamiton ang 133 na sad. Kaya ingon man ta nga mo earn of interest of appeal ang computed interest. So, 133 times 0.10, that's 13.3. So, 13.3 plus 133, 
that's 146.3 or simply 146 and so on and so forth okay so that is the computation for compound interest class now uh, that is uh basically this illustration um magnifies the difference between a uh, simple interest and a compound interest on how your money grows based on the method that you are using okay so compound interest wins because basically it is easy to see that uh, if you're saving money, you would prefer compound interest. Okay, mas dako, mas paspas ang paggrow sa imong money. Okay, katung ako gi ako gihatag niyo yung illustration class that is pwede tinambano niyo iatuo niyo pag compute tinambano niyo. But what if given mo pila ka years diha so madugay mo di ba? So we have presented a formula for compound interest. So that's um, A is equal to P, uh, P plus 1 plus I. I is equal to R over N raised to the power of NT. So P there is principal. R is the interest given interest rate. N is the number of compounding periods. When you say number of compounding periods, mayingon man na compounded monthly. So kung monthly, in one year there are 12 months. So divided by 12. If compounded semi-annually, there are two semi-annuals in one year, so divided by two. Kung compounded quarterly, there are four quarters in one year, so divided by four. Then, um, uh, comp compounded uh, semi-annually, compounded quarterly, compounded monthly, we have compounded annually, so over one, ra, because there is one uh, that's, that's equivalent to one year. Then, uh, times in years, meaning to say, kung unsay kadugayon sa imo investment. It times ang nimo sa number of compounding periods. So if the investment is good for two years, then it was compounded monthly, so two times twelve. Okay, so that is the formula. An example is given here: one hundred is invested at ten percent interest compounded yearly for six years. So the principal is one hundred dollars. The interest rate is ten percent. Then that is compounded yearly, so ang um, imong compounding period is 1, raised to the power of 6 times 1. 1 because a compounding period compounding period is only annually. Okay, so to the power of 6, so the uh, compound amount is 177.16. If, if you will be asked how much is the compound interest, simply compound interest is computed as compound amount minus principal. So that's 177.16 minus 100. That will give you 77.16 as your compound interest. Okay. I believe the succeeding problems is just the same. So let's now go to answering your um, examination, examination class. I hope you can see my screen uh, for a while. Okay, I hope you can see my screen. So, basically, number one tells us to explain the difference between simple interest and compound interest. I have illustrated that one already in the previous uh, slides. Basically, simple interest, what earns interest is the principal alone. While compound interest, um, what earns interest is the principal and the computed interest. Okay, and so on and so forth. Okay, you can also explain that using the table I shown I have shown you a while ago, katong 100, 100 ang iyang principal, and then 10% ang iyang rate. So, katong 110, 121, 133, pwede to rin ipakita ka table. But you can also just say that um, simple interest is, an, the, the one that uh, earns interest is the principal alone. And then for compound interest, what earns in interest is the principal and the um, computed computed interest. Okay, pwede na ninyo inaon pag story, I will accept that answer. Okay, so that's as to number one. Let's go to number two class. Aaron Abbott invested 100,000 at 12% interest, compounded semi-annually for three years. Manually calculate the compound amount and the compound interest for Aaron's investment. So, formula for computation of compound amount is A N P one plus I to the power of N, tiba. So, um, 
the principal was 100,000 the times 1 plus the interest is 0 0.12 that's semi annually so divide by 2 then raise the part of 3 years times 2 correct times 2 because um, there are two semi annuals in one year and then the duration of the investment is 3 years so that's 3 times 2 so if you're going to calculate that's 100,000 uh 1 plus 0 0.06 because 0 0.12 over 2 months raised to the power of 6. So the compound amount is 141,851.91. 8, 141, okay. Now, the compound interest class is AN minus P or that's compound amount minus principal. So the computed compound interest Compound amount was 141,851.91 minus the principal amount, which is 100,000. That will give you 41,851.91. Okay? 41,851.91. So that's the answer for number two. Okay? Let's go to number three. Basically, number three... Um, is asking us to um, uh, uh, compare um, the compound, how much is the compound interest greater than the simple interest. So you are going to compute for the simple interest at the same time you're also going to compute for the compound interest. So find the simple interest. Number three, find the simple interest on 60,000 for one year at 10%. So anak lang, simple interest as I thought, that's six, that's I is equals to PRP. So principal is 60,000 times 0 0.10 times one year, okay, one year man. So the interest is 6,000. Okay, that's as to simple interest. For num letter B, find the compound interest if the same investment is co compounded semi annually. So semi annually. So the formula is AN P. 1 plus I to the power of N, diba? So that's principal 60,000 times uh, uh, close parent, uh, open parenthesis 1 plus the interest which is 0 0.10 and then semi-annually man, so divide by 2 raised to the power of 2 can 1 year a month. So the compound amount is 66,150. Now you are asked to um, compare the compound interest and the, the simple interest so that Compound interest class, if you're going to um, look at the um, the computed compound amount, that's 66,150 minus 60,000. So, sa ato pa, yung compound interest is 6,150. So, meaning to say, if you're going to compare that one with the simple interest, that is 150 pesos, ang compound interest is 150 pesos more than the simple interest. So, what is the conclusion that you can draw here? Given nga uh, same ang uh, same ang kana siyang uh, same ang duration sa imong investment, basta compound amount ang gamiton, mas dako compared sa simple interest. This is a magnification of that one. That's uh, question number three. Okay. For question number four, what is uh, what is the simple interest on thirty thousand for six months at a simple interest rate of twelve percent? What is the compound interest the same investment is compounded quarterly? Obtain the difference. So um, this uh, this is a similar problem to number three. No, you have to compute for the simple interest, then compute for the compound interest, then compare. So, what is simple interest on 30,000 for six months? A simple interest rate. So, I is equals to PRT. Principal is 30,000. Rate is 0 0.12. Then, time there is for six months. Man, the investment is good for six months. So, that's 6 over 12. So, that the simple interest is computed as 1,800. Okay? 1,800 for number four. For la number four, letter B, what is the compound interest of the same investment is compounded quarterly? So formula, A, N, P, 
P1 plus I to the power of N. So that's 30,000 principal 1 plus that's your 0 0.12 should be divided by 4 because quarterly month. Then there are two quarters, okay, compounded quarterly good for 6 months. So to the power of 2 rana siya. So the computed interest is 31,827. So the compound interest therefore is um, 1,827. So if you're going to compare the compound interest from the simple interest, you can see that the compound interest is 27 pesos more than the simple interest. Okay, that's for number four. Number five. For number five, Abraham Ace invested 200,000 at 14% interest compounded semi-annually for eight years. What is the amount of compound interest Abraham earned? So there's no need for you to uh, compare the simple interest and the compound interest. The problem is simply asking you how much is the compound interest. So for you to solve that, you use the formula of the compound amount, that's A N P. 1 plus i to the power of n. So, principal was 200,000. 1 times 1 plus 0 0.14 over 2 because 14% interest compounded semi-annually man. Okay? Then, for 8 years, so that's 8 times 2 because 8 years times compounded semi-annually. So, your compound amount is 590,432.75. Five hundred ninety four hundred thirty two point seventy five, which means that the compound interest is uh, the compound amount minus the principal, which is two hundred thousand. So your compound interest here is three hundred ninety thousand four hundred thirty two point seventy five. Okay, so that's for number five. Number six. Adrian Aaron invest 350 at 16% interest compounded quarterly for seven years. Find the compound amount of Adrian's investment. So simply you are asked for the compound amount. So you proceed with the using the formula. A and P is equivalent to P1 plus I to the power of N. So principal is 350,000 times 1 plus so the interest is 16%, then that's compounded quarterly, so 0 0.16 divided by 4, then raise the power of 7 years, man. 7 years times 4, because um, uh, interest is compounded quarterly. So that the compound amount, computed compound amount is 1,049,546.16. That's for number six. Okay. For number seven, use the compound interest formula to calculate the compound amount of 300,000 invested at 8% interest compounded quarterly for five years. So you are asked here to solve for the compound amount just like in number six. So the formula A and P1 plus I to the power of N. So principal, that's 300,000. Okay, that's 300,000 times um, 1 plus 8%. So uh, number 7, that's 8% interest compounded quarterly. So 0 0.08 divided by 4 because compounded quarterly month. Raise the power of 5 because for 5 years month times 4. So the compound amount is 445, 784.22. Again, the compound amount is 445,784.22. So that's for number seven. Number eight, that's P1 plus I to the power of N. So um, the problem says Ainsley Supply Incorporated deposited 500,000 in account earning 12% compounded monthly. This account is intended to pay for the construction of a new warehouse. How much will be available for the project um, in two and one half years? So um, as you can see, uh, the formula A N uh, one plus uh, A N P times one plus i to the power of n is used um, is used in computing for the future value, future value of a particular investment intended for a specific purpose. 
So, mo na siya application, example of an application, the compound amount. Now, um, uh, since you are asked how much should be available for the project after the said duration, you are solving for the compound amount. So, nangita ka sa compound amount. So, number eight, that's A N P 1 plus I to the power of N. Okay? The um, principal there is 500,000. Your one, your I is 12%, then compounded monthly month, so divided by 12. Then good for 2.5 years month, one and half years, so 2.5 times 12. The compound amount will, the, will, will, will therefore be 673,924.46. Okay? So that's for number eight. Number nine, what is the compound amount at compound interest of uh, compound interest of 360,000 invested at 12% compounded semi-annually for seven years? So you are asked to solve for the compound amount and the compound interest. So so simple, use the formula lang gihapon, A and P1 plus I to the power of N. So principal is 360,000. The interest was 0 0.12, so 1 plus 0 0.12 divided by 2 because compounded semi-annually man. Then good for 7 years or raised to the power of 7 times 2 because compounded semi-annually. So the answer is 813,925.42. For you to solve for the compound interest, you just deduct the principal from the compound amount. So that's 813,925.42. Minus 360,000, which will yield you a compound interest of 453,925.42. Okay. Then for number 10, what is the compound amount at compound interest of 150,000 invested at 6% compounded quarterly for 27 months? So same nagyapun process for number 9, compute for the compound amount. That's P1 plus I to the power of N. So that's 150,000 times 1 plus uh, 0 0.06 divided by 4 because quarterly month. Then since 27 months, raised to the power of 9 ba So the uh, compound amount is 171,508.50. Okay. Then you are asked for the compound interest, so that's 171,508.50 minus 150,000. So the compound interest is 21,508.50. Okay, so that is the answer for number 10. So basically, that's a wrap up of the examination that I gave you. Um, so what can what conclusion can you draw from here, class? Basically, the conclusion that you can draw from these um, illustrations is that um, it's much better to put your investment in an uh, investment scheme that computes interest based on compounding because it will yield you a higher interest given the same period of investment. And also, um, you can also say that... Uh, the higher the interest rate, the higher the interest that will be computed, diba? Uh, and the higher the the more the compounding period, the more the compounding period, the more is the in uh, interest earned. Sad. So, kung compounded monthly, the more nga mas musaka ang imo compared kung compounded semi-annually lang, the more nga mas daku kung compounded quarterly, uh, monthly. Okay? And then, the longer the years also, the longer the year of the investment, the higher is the interest rate. The, high, the, in, the computed interest. So those are the um, realizations that you can draw from the illustrations that I gave you. Okay? So, um, on Friday, I will give you another um, another examination. I mean, another um, another discussion and then on monday i will give you another set of examinations okay thank you so much for listening